More than eight hours after the missile launch, we're told we cannot tell North Koreans about the launch itself because it hasn't been announced yet on state media. North Koreans pretty much always get the government-approved version of news far later than everyone else. Until then, in a country cut off from the outside world, people unaware. Unaware, millions of Japanese woke up to air raid sirens. Unaware, South Korea was conducting its own bombing drills. Some may have heard the early morning missile, the launch site remarkably close to the Pyongyang airport. It's rare for North Korea to launch a missile near a highly populated area, perhaps sending a message to the U.S. Any preemptive strike could have devastating humanitarian consequences. What North Koreans do know is what their government has been telling them all their lives. America is the enemy, a bully, a nation they must hate. Here in Pyongyang, people are surrounded by anti-American propaganda. You see a lot of images like this, a mobile missile launcher, missiles pointed towards the U.S., which is up in flames, and the words, all of the mainland United States is within our striking range. The regime's long-standing narrative, the U.S. could attack at any time, and their supreme leader, Kim Jong-un, has no choice but to continue his unprecedented barrage of missile testing. I think we've done enough talking, says Ri Hyun-il. What we want now is real action. What does that mean? What kind of action? You can imagine what kind of action, he says. All we need is the order from our supreme commander. Kim Jong-un commands absolute power over the North Korean people. Some 25 million lives, 25 million futures rest in his hands. But they don't blame him for the hardships they endure. They blame America, and the hatred is palpable. You can clearly see how strongly this man feels. Does North Korea really want war with the U.S.? We value peace. We love peace, says Jong Hak. We have our future, our children. If another war happens, Koreans and Americans will suffer, but we will never beg for peace. He says something that stands out. He tells me America is a big country, a bold country. Act big. Act bold. Don't be a bully, he says, because North Korea will fight back. Only brings North Korean leader Kim Jong-un closer to his ultimate goal, an intercontinental ballistic missile with a nuclear warhead capable of striking the mainland U.S. It's only a matter of time. We're seeing this frantic pace of testing, which means that Kim's arsenal is growing quickly and becoming more advanced. Right now, North Korea could launch a devastating strike with conventional weapons on highly populated areas like Seoul or maybe even Tokyo. And soon, those missiles, perhaps with nuclear tips, will be able to go even further and with greater accuracy. Even if North Korea will never match the firepower of the U.S., they have the potential to kill a lot of people and do a lot of damage if they ever feel cornered. Kim's government views these nuclear weapons as vital to their survival as a nation. I've been to North Korea many times, and many times their officials have told me they will not give up their nuclear weapons, period.